I'm a big fan of using small lightweight cameras instead of big DSLRs when out and about. Don't get me wrong, DSLRs have their own place, but they can hinder you when you're out and about. But can that philosophy extend to editing? One of my best tech investments has been my Chromebook. I use it for about 90% of my non-computing work needs. And it only cost me £100. I love it. It's lightweight, it has amazing battery life, and it's really quick to load up and quick for web tasks. And it comes with my favourite browser, Google Chrome. So can a Chromebook be used for editing images on the go? Well, let's find out. So I've gone out with a small Fuji X70 camera and taken a few raw images of this tree. Despite being really cold, it's actually a really sunny day here. Back home, I'm editing on my Chromebook using Polar Photo Editor. It's free, but it has some premium features. Polar is an app that works seamlessly with a Chromebook. It can edit raw files, which for me is a big plus. One of the downsides of using a Chromebook is that you need to be connected to the internet, which is not always possible. Thankfully, Polar works offline and doesn't require an internet connection. I'm now going to look at editing using Polar. So I've just opened the image in Polar Photo Editor and what I'm recording with my camera because um, I don't really want to do a screen capture in, in a Chromebook. I'm not sure how successful that will be. So we can apply filters here if we want to. I'm not going to. We've got our histogram, which is very similar to Lightroom. And anyone who's familiar with Lightroom will be quite at home here. I've turned on a setting that embeds a um, watermark and it defaults to polar and that's quite good because then I know I've, I've edited it in polar. So we can do an auto enhance which I quite like and I'm just going to press Control and Z to return it to the original. There was nothing wrong with that auto, I was really quite pleased with that but I want to look through what we've got here. So we can adjust the white balance temperature and the tint let's make it a little bit more blue, vibrance and saturation we can't do any auto white balance like you can in Lightroom. This is the one people are going to have most experience with. This is your sort of exposure settings and I'm going to whack the shadows right up. I'm going to drop the blacks a little. I'm going to bring the highlights down and the whites down a bit. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to just increase the clarity. I'm not going to add any sharpening. Increase the clarity. I don't need to do any denoising. Vignetting I'm not going to do. HSL curve I'm not going to do. Curves. I'll do a little bit of curves. Just a bit of a classic S shape here. Okay, now I'm quite happy with this picture, but what I could do if I really wanted to was I could do some local adjustments with brushes. And this is no way as good as Lightroom's, but, but it is it is usable. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, like that, and I'm just going to increase the shadows quite a lot. And I'm going to bump up the shadows here on these trees. Not that I think they particularly need doing. But yes, that's done. And then I'm going to go back to here. Local adjustments. Now, one thing I will show you is we're not connected to the internet. We're not connected to the internet, and this is still working fine. And I can export this photo as JPEG, PNG. I can do batch exports. I'm going to export 100. 100. I'm just going to call this tree edit polar and I'm going to save a copy and then that just saves um, on my Chromebook so let's just save that so that was nice and easy it's not as powerful as Lightroom and there's certain things I can't do but for editing one or two images while out and about or previewing the images, I think it's great and it's free. Local adjustments you have to pay for. 
I'm using two hour trial period. But other than that, I think Polar Photo Editor for the Chromebook is very good, so much cheaper than Lightroom and does make your Chromebook really quite good for taking out viewing images and editing them. So let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of using Chromebooks for editing and what you think of Polar.